Oh shoot! Okay, so I don't really own a watch, but if I did, it would totally be reminding me that Father's Day is less than a week away and this chick's got her husband nothing, nada, zilch for Father's Day. So I'm going to take you guys to Dollar Tree, give you some great Father's Day Dollar Tree gift ideas, and then I'm going to show you an awesome, quick and easy Father's Day DIY. It's going to be this really cool barbecue utensil holder that anybody can make and anybody can afford. Well, maybe not anybody. Buddy, but most people can afford Dollar Tree. I'm Drea with Clueless Mummy D. If you don't know me, I do thrifty lifestyle affordable videos for fashion, decor, and DIYs. So if that sounds awesome, then we are already friends and go ahead and hit subscribe and the bell because YouTube really likes hiding my channel from people who like it. I don't know why. So make sure you hit the bell. So wish me luck guys. Let's do this. So this can be a quick shot with me. There really wasn't a whole lot of stuff. This is kind of neat if your hubby or father in your life has a lot of spare change. And of course, the Father's Day mugs. And this is the first time I ever noticed beer glasses. Comment below if you've seen that at Dollar Tree. They did have some handy little tools that you could totally put together in a little gift box. And they had some deodorants and cologne, I guess. I don't know. But I thought that this little toolkit would be cute to kind of put some of dad's favorite things inside from the kids and from yourself. And this candle had, you know, not too, not a girly smelling candle and had a good look to it. But for this DIY, this is the section I was interested in because my hubby loves to barbecue in the summer. That's one of the reasons, reasons I love the summer because he does a lot of the cooking. So let's get on to the DIY. So these are the things I picked up from Dollar Tree and they're pretty good considering. And also I picked up these little beach signs, three of them to be exact. You want the large Dollar Tree popsicle sticks and if they have them you can use the wood slice or you can pick up a hook that will work too. And these are the things that I will be using as well. First thing I did was go ahead and peel away the front of this. Actually, the front of that is going to be the back and we're going to make the back the front. I did get that idea from, oh my gosh, Glue Guns and Roses. Her channel is awesome. If you haven't seen her DIYs, you've got to check them out. She does a ton of Dollar Tree DIYs. She didn't do this barbecue sign, but she did use these for some other cool signs. So you should check that out. So I wanted to have it big enough and wide enough to hold at least four items. So I went ahead with my wood glue and just took the sides of it, laced it with the glue and used some clips and popsicle sticks. So it looks like a messy, messy, messy thing in the back, but that's okay. Business in the front, crazy in the back is all right. Comment below and let me know what you were thinking of giving the father in your life for Father's Day. Have you already gotten it? So this wood glue does need to hold for at least 30 minutes and the popsicle sticks do help with the support of it. So that's why I'm going ahead and adding them and because it was quite a few pieces together, I decided to add them along the middle and then do some horizontally on the top and the bottom. If you need other Father's Day gift ideas, I will also link my Father's Day gift ideas video from last year in the description and at the end of this video I actually was brave enough to go into the mall and interview dads to see what they would like. I don't get easily you know embarrassed or anything with like vlogging in public 
but I gotta tell you, my heart was racing a little bit with that one. So now that it's all sanded and cleaned up with a warm rag, I went in with my white chalk paint. It's easy, it's fast to dry, and it fills in the cracks good. You guys know my favorite chalk paint is from Auntie Tay at shopantitay.com. She is also a YouTuber and her craft store is amazing. She's got lots of good colors. And in the description, you can find out how you can get 10 to 20% off if you're looking for some good chalk paint. So whenever the paint brushes out and there's kids around, they have to get involved. This is my niece Azaria who was visiting and her sister, my other niece Dream, aren't they cute? And if you're already a subscriber here, you've seen this face a few times. That's my son JJ and he got a lot of paint on his elbow. <laughs> I'll also link another YouTube friend. Her name is Artsy Cupcake, and she made a barbecue utensil holder too. I don't believe it was all Dollar Tree stuff, but still worth checking out. So I just finished it up and I decided to go in with some brown acrylic paint that I picked up at the dollar store and just kind of distress it. My nieces really enjoyed watching this. They didn't get to stay till the end, so they're looking forward to this video to see how their DIY turned out. So after it was distressed, I went on to the letters. Now you guys need to pray for me during this. <laughs> the first method I did was go to Pick Monkey and make a design for the letters and just make sure that I flipped it so that when I would transfer, it would come out correctly. If you guys don't have Pick Monkey in the pinned comments, I do have a link um, where it gives you a free child to it, but that's also what I do for my thumbnails on YouTube and everything there. So I tried the water method okay I tried it it's where you go ahead and put the paper on damp the letters and then you kind of trace the letters once you're done with that and it's supposed to transfer so comment below if I did something wrong I pushed it in with this glue I pushed it pretty hard and I thought that it looked like it turned out well um, you want to make sure you don't dampen the paper too much because then you're going to go right through. So after I had done that for every letter, I was feeling good about myself. I'm like, yeah, this is going to turn out. And no, nothing, nothing went over. So then I got the bright idea to go ahead in with one of my pens that I use for my planner. And this is why I'm clueless, Mama D. That was such a silly idea because it totally leaked everywhere. So then I grabbed a pen and I did the same thing and now I'm like intentionally trying to go through the paper <laughs> so that it would come through. It ended up just being a mess with the blue pen. Nothing happened with the black pen so I freehanded it. Your girl freehanded, spent a lot of time not freehanding and should have just went with this anyways. Ta-da! <laughs> Comment below if you had any transfer troubles, if you don't have like a Cricut or, you know, something more fancy to do it. So next, I didn't have the longer wood pieces at my Dollar Tree, so I wanted to glue two together and I didn't get a hook, so I was too lazy to get the hammer from my husband's truck and just pounded it in this nail so that I had something that looked like this. And I actually think it kind of looks good and rugged and since it's going to be hanging out of the reach of kids, it's all good. I'm using the Fix All Dollar Tree glue and it seems like it held up pretty good. So I'm a big fan of this glue. I've used it a couple of times and since there was more weight on this and it's been hanging outside and we've had no issues, I think it's awesome. So that only needs to dry for 10 minutes, but because I was putting weight on it, I did wait overnight for it. Then I just stuck it outside by our barbecue area, and I think that it looks really cool. You can't go wrong with the Dollar Tree utensils, and comment below if you enjoyed this. You can check out my last Father's Day video and my DIY playlist here, and don't forget to subscribe. Love you, lovelies.